put some oil into the cylinder so it doesn't scort. Put some oil into the crankshaft. Put some oil down into the bearings. Put a little around the uh, front bearing. And now it's nice and free. All the gum seems to be gone. There doesn't seem to be any friction in the bearings. So all I have to do is reassemble the engine and then I'll be able to test run it. And uh, hopefully this engine will be back to normal and I'll be able to put it in a plane and go fly. Um, one thing I didn't mention about when I was cleaning it was that I did not put the carburetor into the thinner. You don't want to put the carburetor into the thinner because um, the thinner will break down the O-rings uh, and the gaskets. Um, I was able to put the whole engine in there because there's no rubber or anything else that the thinner would break down. Um, if you're soaking in the entire engine, one thing you can do is you can soak the entire engine in fuel. Uh, um, you can use old fuel. Uh, you don't want to use fuel that's got a ton of water accumulated in it, but fuel will break down gummed um, bearing the gum and bearings as well. I'm going to be doing a few more engines. I may demonstrate uh, using fuel to clean an engine. It takes longer than the lacquer thinner, um, but it doesn't break down. Uh, it doesn't damage O-rings and um, other parts of an engine because of course um, they're made to withstand the fuel. So I'm going to reassemble the engine now um, and then I'll put it on the test stand and I'll show that in this video and we'll see how it performs. Before I put the carburetor on, I really should have gone ahead and put the head on uh, with the Super Tiger GS40. The rear fins are longer than the front fins, so it's real easy. But if you're doing an engine that has a symmetrical head, make sure you note which is the front and which is the rear because it's best to keep the orientation of the head the same for the lifetime of the engine. And it, it's questionable as to whether or not it matters, but um, once you've broken in an engine, there's fit and that kind of thing. So. Um, for consistency, it's better for it to be the same. Now, with the typical wrench that comes with an engine, you've got a long end and a, and a short end. Uh, it's really better to tighten with the short end because you can't really manually over tighten the bolts. However, um, once you develop the feel, it's okay to use the long end so you, you can use all your fingers. Don't strip the head. If you strip, if you strip the case, you've ruined the engine. 
on the four bolt engine, there's not much of a pattern you go across. Um, with, with a six bolt engine, and you use a different pattern for tightening the bolt. This engine has an O-ring on the on the uh, back plate. The glow plug in. Has good compression, spins over, put the prop on. have to use the uh, front prop washer because the prop's too thin. I tighten the prop on. Let's turn over nice and free. Sounds good. So I'll put the muffler on, we'll be ready to test it. Release the fuel. 